My name is Tom Matano. I am the executive director for the School of Industrial Design at the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. This is one of those ideas that I always wanted to make it happen. So far, I haven't. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, like a sedan. The reason of this shape is the aerodynamics, that everybody did the wedge shape, but in, in theory, the teardrop is a better aerodynamic also. So the air comes in and flows around instead of air comes in and goes through this way. And that may give you an uh, interesting proportion to the sedans that you've seen today. Now, I did this as an initial quick sketch and I realized that there are no headroom here, so I have to adjust the roof line to accommodate the headroom. That ended up changing this area a little bit. I prefer a simple line. Um, I have a theory that if it's a long-lasting design, when you do a car wash, your hand moves through without stoppage. So I want to keep it usually pretty quick, simple. As you can see, I am adding a little more lengths to it. And the roof, you know, think of an airflow. I have to have this little flick. I started on the Miata, and now everybody else had that little built-in sort of shape in the back of the car. So I have to keep my signature there. See, if you have a strong brand, you could have a brand identity. That's where the everybody struggles with, without a history, that everybody has to find their own faces. So this one, because of the uh, stand-up windshield, I might make it very wide, but the roof has this unique shape to manage the airflow on the roof. This could be uh, one of those good old bench seat. Now oh, that's become a cartoon. You know, the funny thing is, ever since I was little, I always wanted to have this thinned <laughs> oil pan thing, cool the engine off. So I have to have one of those in the, the, the bottom of the car. In this way, it's a tons of headroom, so you got, you know, roominess inside, yet it's very aerodynamic, like this. And then the roof pods is here, one of them. Another shape is in the middle, another one there, so that they will manage the airflow at the roof point. And in the hood, they have sort of similar way, the middle section and the quarter section through the air. I designed many sports cars like the Miata and RX-7, but on the other hand, I really want to have a large sedan in my garage. Just once, I never owned a large sedan. You know the how the old movies that couple sit on one side of the car and rest of the, the car's open? Um, and I don't know when, 67 maybe, or 65, when the Mustang and Pony Car came over and they started this Tiber shifter. They split the driver and the passenger with a middle section. And I believe that divorce ratio in America increased because of those cars. I really want to bring the uh, bench seat back so that the family is going to be united again. If it's a Cadillac, you put egg crate on them. I will change my reflection a little bit more to like a little more elegant sceneries or something. You know a lot of people think that like a Corvette's what, whatever one of those knife edge front end is aerodynamic. In theory dull nose is better aero. So I always said if you're the air trying to heat these cars you don't want to cut yourself through the middle with a knife edged front end. You know, you want to be received by a nice softer front end and then guide you through the whole body like these cars do. In fact, that's pretty much better aerodynamics than some appears to be aerodynamic, but not necessarily so in the real world. 
So I will get this tuned really well aerodynamically and maintain the big room inside and keep the bench seat to make family happy. My name is Tom Matano. This is my five minutes car. What's yours now? Painful. <laughs>